Hey everybody, this is Chan Chai, and uh, I'm going to be sparring with Guibert. Um, it's, uh, this is September 27th, uh, Friday, and yeah, I wanted to get some sparring in the morning before I go to a tournament. So I'm going to go uh, join him on voice chat. So let's uh, do that right now. Hey, how are you doing today? I'll uh, be once. All right, got the speak, got it on speakerphone now. So, um, are you okay that I'm recording this? Uh, All right, I'll, I'll cool it with the. I'll try not to be too vulgar on the mic. <laughs> okay, uh, it's okay either way. I don't, I don't uh, mark it for children anyhow. But uh, so speak however you like, you know. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's good to chat while we spar sometimes, and sometimes, I know uh, sometimes you want to bring the heat, and then sometimes you want to uh, bring the sparring, <laughs> you know, so either way yeah. it goes. But, uh... I'm a player match, by the way, so... Awesome. Alright, joining in right now. Let's see. Uh, I'll turn the volume down so it doesn't cause you to hear echoes too much. I... All right, cool. All right, here I come. Always love sparring with your wolf. It's really good. I like getting all the different experiences with the wolves, and uh, you know, trying to get more detailed in the matchup nowadays. But uh, yes. Then uh, we'll see. We'll see what you got here. Harpinier does highlight a really good wolf weapon to use against me, but I'll, I'll see if you're using that already. So. Good. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Oh, okay. Alright, very good. So, because I did a counter hit, that sh that also tells you that I did not have a meaty timing on that. So, Ooh. oh my! Very good. Ah. So I do like to play around with wake up timing, and that's uh, that's to kind of get those things to mess up <laughs> so uh. this is uh leon's bs the reason i do the uppercut so much on wake up is because this move does have bs properties since vf2 um and whether you like whether one wants to believe it or not Final Showdown is like the least BS version of that move. <laughs> so, I believe it. <laughs> it's like you played three enough, so I can tell you that move is just such BS in every version. <laughs> Leon's uppercut just uh, reveals all the hurt boxes of a Virtua Fighter. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, the, yeah, if I can space it out, that'll work, but, again, your move is the one that usually beats most moves. In this case, uh, it's the slightly uh -huh. evasive property of backpack kick that it can kind of slide under high attacks. That can make it a really interesting one. Very nice. For heavy characters, using strings like that, well, in general, strings like that's really good against me against Leon but um, because the dip but for the heavy characters th because of the damage pro how much damage each move does there's just that little bit higher chance that it's gonna beat something like a jab which is only and the the 11 frame jabs are only are like lower damage than all the other jabs so even though they're a frame faster they're they're one they're, they're nine damage instead of uh, instead of ten all right 
and then Jeffrey and Wolf have 11 frame jabs, but Taka has 12 frames, or 12 damage, I'm sorry, 11 damage for, and that matters because of trades. So, I really like the way you use catch throws again, always so good. Thank you. All right, who's in the chat with us today? Oh my God. Oh, it's Fed, okay. Oh, they were there. Very good, nice delay, delay evade. So if I get this counter hit side, side kick or crouch hit even inside recovery, then uh, I'll get a free PKP. And I'm, I'm such a slow starter. No, it's okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're. It's okay. Once you like, you're always very scary. Once you get the reads in, and that's what Wolf wants to do. You know, <laughs> so. Yeah. But you're a very strong player, so you know. Don't worry about it too much. I, I ain't that strong. <laughs> Not yet. I think you're pretty strong. Yeah, I Thank think you, you have some very scary parts to your game, and I think Wolf helps or a wolf works with it works with your strengths yes. very good good oh almost punished Very good, very good maintaining the defense. Very good. Very nice opening. Oh. God damn. <laughs> but you know the properties of this attack I just used though, right? I, it, it's not the reason it won, but but uh, the decisions I'm trying to cut down by using that move is that that mid punch is slides under high attack. So there was the aspect that it was gonna, you know, on frames was gonna win the situation at one, but also if in case you use like a high attack or something, it was gonna also slide under that, so. That was really good. Good hanging in there. I tried to back dash. God damn it. Very 
good. That will always get me too. But I went with Sabaki this time, so. What happened? I'm mad. Damn. <laughs> oh. I felt like a slight drop and then it really fucked with me. <laughs> oh, sorry man. Were you That's gonna go right. for were you gonna go for the mid on the counter hit low punch? I fucking was. Yeah, I think that would have won. I think the I, I, I think just, the uppercut would have been. It and I was like I guess I was too slow. So. It's sometimes it's too fast. In this case it's too fast. So when you get a counter hit, it can it, it's easier to accidentally hit too early. Uh, now on low punch, less likely, but still it happens. But like but like if you counter hit with like a six P neutral, if you counter hit with six P, it's very likely that that'll happen. Like because the the input buffer, like the recovery, the stun yeah. will be bigger than the twelve frame input buffer, and so that that happens like a lot. So like a lot of people will do like elbow into like counter hit into throw and they'll throw too early so the throw won't come out. Is he only like minus six or something on that? On those three punches? The up I, mean, I honestly yeah, I couldn't tell you. Cause I'm trying to PK punish it. It's like no, nah, it's not a PK punish. With like Jeffrey, I think it's like the similar move is punishable, but Wolf, I think it's safe. I think it's a guessing game. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, nice. That's it. Thank yeah. you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I guessed wrong. That was good guess, or good to force a guess, though. Again, that was excellent. Good game. Good game. Hell Mary. Uh, no, it's a really good one. It's really good. Oh yeah. His running is uh, rough because it's it forces a guess. Especially on wake up, so that was excellent. So a lot of a lot of good choices there and I like it. Uh, nice. I didn't think I'd fucking land that. Holy shit. Alright. Several hours of painting and decorating, so I thought I should focus oh, nice. before I got completely crazy. What's that? Oh, oh. Okay. Was that cash or mm, I wonder if that was forward. Yeah, that was uh, that I know that much. If I jump onto your chest it's back. back oh shit. Here. Okay, good enough. Oh, nice. Right. Uh, 
also just caution to people on uh voice chat uh i am recording uh on video and i'm totally cool with, uh, with you guys chatting i'm just letting you know so people know yeah, cool. all right good to have you in the chat uh who's on the chat though is it fed or mm, we got fed and jealous okay alias i don't know all right you got it jealous yeah like jail post Julius. All right, nice to meet you. Hey, uh, I got into Virtual Fighter through my love of the Sega Seven, so I actually haven't played any of the uh, the newer titles. Just you know, one remix and two. Mm. Oh crap! Uh, I've uh, just hooked out a PS2 with a HDMI mod and an SD card reader, so uh, uh, I got playing it for. I got stuck going for those. I see. Uh, well, I absolutely love the Sega Saturn. I picked up a Sega Saturn when I was a teenager because I did have a job and also because I freaking loved Virtua Fighter 2. <laughs> so that was the whole reason for getting a Sega Saturn on day one. So. <laughs> nice. I was just like a dirt poor kid who basically missed out on Sega. Um, you know, my grandpa had a Mega Drive. A lot of us can, a lot of us can relate. I mean, I Sega Saturn was my first Sega system. Actually, I I was all in Nintendo and Super Nintendo as a kid, and then uh, but I freaking loved Virtua Fighter uh, one and two, but especially two. Oh crap! Oh god! Oh no! What's that? Around lockdown, I decided to like just have every console I ever missed out on. So at one point, I had like sixteen different systems plugged in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how that goes too. That was my college years. <laughs> uh, recently, I've been able to clear house. So Mister is able to do a lot of heavy lifting for me. It's it's Mister is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love uh, that. Like at my. It's been doing wonders. Uh, this is like an amazing... Okay, despite how people talk about things, uh, this is an amazing era for gaming for, for many reasons. So. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah the accessibility is nuts these days. So really I'm like... Awesome. I, I, I mean, I'm still all about supporting. And, uh, the availability of these backups. There's a lot of sniper fire on the other one. Oh, what nice. the hell? That's not what I wanted. No, but you got uh, it though. <laughs> I was just playing some uh, virtual cup on the Saturn. Uh, the lightning functionality has just been added by uh, some contributor to the call. Awesome. So, are you playing it on CRT or what are you playing it on? Yeah, CRT. And I do have a flat panel which can do gun for IR, but um, they haven't integrated um, USB based light guns into that call yet. You can play you know, time versus and yeah. stuff on, a, on my big 4K, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah, nice. uh, I, I love that I now that we cool. can finally do, like, um, more and more people can play gun games again, you know? I love it. So, yeah. again, we're in an amazing yeah. era. <laughs> we're As yeah. far as gaming fans yeah. go, we're in a great era. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's... Uh, I know, recently... Um, this fucking guy's low is something else. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. I posted it in the, the chat here a few months back, but somebody threw a PS4 out in the trash, and I just happened to pull it. Someone threw a PS4 in the trash? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Just a That's white wild. Cool. So I just scooped her up. Um, oh shit! Texas Jackie! No, uh, no sign of, like, misuse or anything, just that it had been abandoned, like, five years ago, um, like, around the time of the first lockdown, he thinks. Uh huh. And then it used to crawl upon because you could go from a lack of updates on it. So I uh, put my profile on, purchased a copy of um, Virtual Fighter 5, and then what the fuck? What? The what? <laughs> Remember that when someone's back turned, it's still a stance, alright? <laughs> That's the tip. Uh, it's not bad, it's just like I, I thought I had like some kind of like small frame advantage on that counter hit 2k. Oh, you get. Fucker. That was good. Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. You're, you're doing so, well. Like, I mean, TGS was kind of like a hopeful point for a 
somebody with a triple header in it. Well, uh, I yeah. for me, it, it's a small hope. It wasn't like I don't know. For me, I was very. I'm like, like we'll a see. Teaser trailer. But the thing is, is I'm I'm just well one. This Virtua Fighter makes me more than happy, so I, I'm not like like I have to have them announce it, but yeah. when they do, I okay. So one, I fully believe they are working on it, so that's that. But um, that said, when they announce it, they'll announce it, and once it's announced, then I do think the game gets some traction, and there is hype for a new game, and it does bring a chance for a new generation to love the game. But I love this game, so and I I have no trouble getting opponents personally, so I'm I'm happy with where I'm at on, yeah. <laughs> because because you know I'm an old man now, and so who knows if I live for the next VF, <laughs> but you know, but but I would like to, um, and I would like to see the game, uh, I, I'd like to see that new energy from like a new entry, you know, but at the same time, uh, all around the world I have people I can play this game with, and I'm and I love it, and it's. And, and right now, I'm actually playing the best Virtua Fighter of my life, so I, I'm pretty happy. Like, I'm still getting stronger each year, and it's a lot of fun. And now, where the state of the online is right now, it's way better than it was, like, 10 years ago. So, in the case of, like, how it plays online. And so, I'm able to catch up on a lot of magic knowledge I couldn't get on a more regional aspect. Yeah, would be good. You know, it's yeah, it's it's one of those things where oh, we can definitely dream, and when it's there, it's there, and it's wonderful. But if it's not there, well, it's it's always up to us, regardless, as fans, you know, like. Yeah. There's only so much. I mean, uh, I love any resource that a company is going to put put into something, and I'm very much a believer in that aspect. But I'm also a believer that you know, once a product's been out for a while, it's it, it's on the fans to keep that alive for however experience they want out of it. <laughs> you know, and so I, I think a lot of people have concluded that like VF Five is the chess of fighting games. It's just it is the perfect what it needs to be. I th I think so. That's how it feels to me. <laughs> but uh, obviously, the thing that we want from like a new entry has more has more to do with the fact that just that it would just be popular and that you have that feeling of a mainstream popular game, you know, again. But for me, I'm like, well, okay, but I know that people that love this game as much as I do, and um, that I can keep playing with them, you know, and that's not going to change, right? Um, of course, population shrink. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're not getting, we don't get younger. But at the same time, uh, the th and then the thing you do want with new energy is that there's newer people getting in, less bitter. Because trust me, everybody gets bitter after a while. You know, every generation have had to deal with it. Oh, okay, you did. Uh, you're starting to see me play a little more interactive right now, <laughs> so <laughs> where I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna try to attack what he likes to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems that they've got like a cool factor back that they didn't have for a long time. People would be interested in new franchises from the company. For sure. I mean, you know, I think Virtua Cop really set a standard for a long time. But then for Sega, um, for a while, the uh, of course House of the Dead took over that, um, and oh, then yeah. after that, it becomes the identity of the arcade shooters in general, which I think are very underrated. Even like, I mean, in the peak times, they were not underrated. But I think in retrospect, I think many of them are underrated because actually their whole lineup of gun games of arcade games for like 20 years is really good actually <laughs> and so, yeah, Sega, and, Sega always made top tier arcade cabs yeah and they're yeah. just they're just really yeah. fun you know like the, the the gun games are fun with Time Crisis I always feel like there's a great concept there some of them are not fun and some of them are really fun <laughs> you know so yeah. the great battle between yeah. 
I think so too. I think two is definitely the one that hits the balance where you're like, okay, this is what this game should be, right? Uh, whereas, yeah. you know, like the first one is so like the like the original Ridge Racer, it's like to me it's kind of bland, <laughs> you know. It's like I play it and I kind of stop, but when I play, um, no. but when I play the second Time Crisis, I can play that all day, <laughs> you know. So in the great back and forth between Namco and Sega, it's one of the rare times that Namco actually rose to the challenge. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, um, I so it's like I love Virtua Tennis, but my favorite uh, tennis series is actually Smash Court by Namco. <laughs> And that's because it's it's arcadey, but it still feels. But that one feels more grounded in actual tennis, whereas like um, Virtua Tennis would not really feel like grounded in tennis until at least like four. Um, but it was really fun because Virtua Tennis, it's like, it it was like a weird hybrid of tennis and ping pong the way it plays, <laughs> you know, and arcadey. Yeah. But it's really fun. There's un no denying how fun the Virtua, Virtua Tennis series is. Just that as a, as a tennis player, the one that really felt like actual tennis to me was Smash Court, while still being an arcade game. But the first Smash Court feels as bland as like Ridge Racer 1. So, um, but it was fun for me to play. But then 2 was where 2 and 3 and 4, those games are good. But very underrated, very, you know, like they're they're in the shadow of Virtua Tennis. And then later, uh, you know, like on the Xbox, Top Spin would, would kind of have a more Western aesthetic for a tennis game. And so, yeah, but, but just so many great stuff in that era. Um, that 32, 128-bit era is such a wonderful era of gaming, I think. What? Was that game Silent Scope? Was that Sega as well? That was no, Konami, Konami, but that's so good. I love Silent Scope. I love playing it as a no scope game. So, like, like it's yeah, where, where like. Kind of plays it as a no scope game because like the later it, stages like gets you like really up close for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's the thing is like that's that's the true beauty to me of that game is that it's a no scope. Like the real way for me to play it is to like see how much you can no scope versus how much you're actually going to use the scope. All right, so Gweebert, the only trick is, um, so I once I start, using that goddamn move. no, no, you can still use the move, but you got to mix it up. That's all. It's oh, you're, no, that no, you're no, using. No. It's really good. I, I don't like it at all. Really? No, no. It, okay, but it, it it is a really it's a good guessing game to force somebody to like to have to figure out. It's just that you kind of um that you're only doing the throw option, and it's like oh you oh, can yeah, totally yeah, yeah. you can totally f me up. You can totally f me up. Like you're the fact that like I'm not stopping it until the very last moment. That that actually means that like using the attack option is very strong. Like it, it's it's one thing if like I was attacking it way early and I'm not. So. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. What? No, no, because evade instantly scrap in instantly stands. Oh, you're right. You're right. You were just late. You were late. You were late. Because there's no way I should be able to stand that, um, to, to do that. Because it was it was counter hit, right? No, it wasn't. Yeah. Maybe I was too far. You're adjusting really well, though. I, I am trying to force you to adjust, <laughs> but, but and you're doing it. Yeah, I gotta adjust the strings. Okay, so number one tip against Leon in this case, uh, your mids are your friends, because like Leon, like a lot of fast characters, Leon has crush tools, right? But the way you, st if somebody crushes you, the way you just stop it is just mid doing mid attacks. It just kills it, right? And so, what oh Harpenier will use against me... That was good. Oh my god, I love that you know to do this if somebody's gonna try to force crouch. Nice, Abare. That was beautiful. Really good game. Good, good game. Good game.
but something like um what is it uh wolf's like from crouch 3p plus k i don't know it's like an uppercut like an up upper oh, elbow t3p it could be one? yeah t3p yeah upper well the upper elbow not the not the flip yeah, the upper elbow yeah, the upper elbow is really good against Leon, so it, it'll stop a lot of bullshit that I do if I, I if I'm talking. That about one. I it's the stuff like the last few sessions using that move. I see. The weakness is if I'm in the mood to evade. So the problem is if I evade it. No, uh, even when I'm like trying to attack, you, you already beat me to it. So. Really? Okay. Yeah. But there's definitely a way to. There's definitely, like every. I mean, a way to think is that. Every move has a weakness. That's that's just the fact of this game. Um, aside from aside from oppressive Okizemi situation, like Akira doing quarter circle back P plus K, that's an exception, oh God, yeah. right? But every move has a weakness. Else, outside of oppressive situation like that, every move has some way to beat it, right? Even low jab has a weakness because it's weak to high to crush, and it's also and then um, even elbow. Elbow is on paper super safe, right? But what's the problem with the elbow? Backdash, right? So everything is gonna have risk. You you can't avoid it. So just because it's getting beaten doesn't exactly mean it's bad. It just means that in the situation of how your opponent's playing, is that maybe it's not yet the right time. But there's definitely a place to use it. So and it's the same thing for. Um, there's definitely a way to use uh, Wolf's upper against Leon especially. neutral yeah i did the neutral throw there because i i rarely do it so <laughs> there, there's no real consistent pattern for when i do neutral throw so um, yeah. so that makes it harder to guess <laughs> but, but again if if you know your opponent's gonna throw but you're having trouble guessing the throw then that that just means that launching was the answer there but, but it's high risk so I think it froze. Oh, no, no, it didn't. That was scary. I thought it froze for a sec. It might have. Are we might have disconnected. Oh, no. Okay. We're there. We're there. We're there. That was rare. Very strange. Yeah. Uh, who was I chatting with again? Uh, Gia? Uh, oh, crap. Uh, okay. But anyways, yeah. Um, I think... Oh, my. I'm really happy that yeah. you're enjoying the Sega Saturn. It's such an amazing system. This, uh, I'm going to the Portland Retro Game Expo today and for this weekend, and they're gonna, they have like three panels on Sega. So, hey, nice. Oh, there's gonna be the Shiro guys there for sure, then. Yes. Oh, yeah, one of the, one of the, they're, they're doing one of the panels, yeah. I actually haven't oh been God, following really Shiro. How is that? Circle. How is that podcast? Basically every week, uh, their Discord is pretty good too. Excellent. Too close to do a back, too much disadvantage to do a backdash there. That's range. I should have just fuzzied. Oh, nice. I had a feeling you were going to go back, but then it went to Burning Hammer. Again, I love that catch throw. It's always going to nail me. <laughs> it catches, it catches the player watching. exciting though <laughs> but yeah You know, I was been a hardcore gamer since I was a little kid, but uh, the Sega Saturn was my favorite era. 
Damn, um, it's a whole ass party in here. What's G, bro? Yeah. Dying. Just dying. Speaker. Can't play right now. I gotta catch up on assignments, but maybe if I'm done with them before. I might be able to hop on. Oh my god, I bought glow. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Man, my, full, my half circles do not want to register today. What the fuck? I'm curious, Gleeber. What do you think of my fucking gen bucks? Uh, better than most things. Shame about the owie stick. Yeah, but here, I realized once I was able to, like, kind of basically <laughs> scratch off the engraving, I'm like, yeah, no, it's over, bro. It's so joking. Damn. So, yeah. But. Man, I legit had to like, uh, so I was keeping mostly original. I just started fucking chopping things out. I tore the entire thing up. And for the celebration of Jank Bar 3 2, I made like two new costumes. Too much fucking noise, man. How does Chanchai play with all these people? Oh, I trained myself uh, 10 years ago to. Because I. Um, it used to be one of my weaknesses was getting distracted. Um. But like, I um, I... that was good. I thought I inputted something. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh... Nice block. The solutions only played VF one and two. Seeing Leon not dressed as like Marty McFly is really weird. <laughs> yeah, I understand that one too. So there's a couple of things that help with it. Um, you motherfucker, that was good. <laughs> thanks. Oh. Damn. But um, part of it is, I mean, there was active training for it because ten, about twelve years ago, I felt like it was one of my weaknesses. Where, uh, and it took a couple of years just. But I mean, I knew that the answer was to keep playing in environments where people were talking a lot. And sometimes yeah. even encourage it, <laughs> you know, uh, playing on stream helps with it too, but playing on stream uh, is not a full solution, but it helps a lot. And then learning how to have different gears. That's a big one for me. So a big one for me was, was just understanding that you have a lot of different gears to play. So, I'm sure I'm fucking evading like half of these. <laughs> uh, it's hard to evade in neutral though. So. Uh, yes. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Yeah, so, a nice little hold of them. Yeah. I so, mean my own. Um, so I'm, I am a collector, so, um, so I, I have a arcade stick collection, but, um, oh, but I, but I did been importing since, uh, oh, well, pretty much since VF4, because VF4 had like the, the PS2 era, um, Virtua Fighter 4 stick. Um, fortunately, in the Dreamcast era, I would have, except for the fact that uh, H Tech um, released the released the sticks in the U.S. The Green Goblins. Double check. It feels like it's not on speakerphone anymore. Okay. Hey, you're back. All right. There you go. Back on speaker. Hey, you got it. All right. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Dying out here. <laughs> Sorry. Charlie. That was gonna be one long fucking session. <laughs> here, I uh, I got myself 
real arcade here, which was an early Sega Saturn with a three button arcade. My original plan for that was to pack it to work with Metagrade. Oh god, three buttons are be a better fit for a lot of experiences on the old 16 bit system. Mm. I'm, I'm dropping a lot today. Good god. Oof. Not really known for my execution, but, you know. goes that direction. Right. Oh, nice. Bye. Very good, very good. I was debating whether I should fade away or I should attack, but uh you it was good. Very good choice. Whoa! Uh, that must have been the wrong direction. What? What's that? There's two low swipes that look similar. That one you have to evade to his, to his front, but the other one you have to evade to his back. So this is the one to the front, to the back. And then... Got it. Oh, I, I almost did something cool. I don't know if I can do it though. I don't know if he has the time. But it would be awesome if he does. Oh no. This is the back dash in the 44k. Were you doing like 3p here? Or probably 4p. No, I would I would have still lost if I don't know. No, no, I like I those I yeah, I was like I think I mid I counter hit the mid attack, so Such a good opener. All right, good round. Because he's just doing the low crush there. <laughs> yeah. Almost. I thought I did 6 6p. What the fuck? And I'm wrong out. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty salty about that. <laughs> Uh, we'll t we'll I take a. I, got six, I <laughs> thought I got six six p off that, or six six p plus g. No, I, I got six p, and it fucking cost me. Uh, sorry, dude. That's eh, all right, whatever. Oh. I 
my release card just a little bit too early there. <laughs> Good patience. Very good. Oh, nice. Oh, no. And I'm dead. It's hard. The cool thing about that stance is, or that maneuver is that it looks like he's no, attacking. I attack you more. Yeah. I'm getting so sick of this guy. Yeah. So sick. <laughs> so sick of Leon. A lot of a lot of people do get sick of Leon very quickly. <laughs> We'll take a break here. I'm gonna take care of some uh, some tasks for the day. Get to the run to the bank, and then. Uh, but uh, if you're up for playing a bit later, I'll be up for it. I'm still I'll still be around. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much for the bells. I really really appreciate it. So, okay. No problem. And I appreciate all the chats this morning too. So uh, I'll be back for more Next a bit later. I'm not joining chat. Yeah, <laughs> we can do quiet. No problem. <laughs> but it does help for me. Um, it did. It uh, it takes a lot, but uh, yeah, work on your own uh, pace and environment. But for me, I really forced myself to play in environments where people were just talking like a lot, <laughs> and uh, it took a while though. But it was a it was yeah. a long project. Uh, I, I mean, know. yeah. When it comes to you, I, I have to concentrate a lot. So it's... my my game is designed to make people try to concentrate a lot. Um, some of the things that does happen, some of the things that help, it's not just that I played in environments like that. It's, I have a lot of different gears. And so I kind of know which gears will work in different situations. So yeah. some of those, so sometimes an opponent, I have to be very focused and respond exactly to what they're doing. But some opponents, even really good opponents, sometimes there's just something that's going to, that's working. So if that's the case, sometimes it's almost like managing an autopilot and you kind of let it run on the things that are working. And then you just take over when you start seeing things not working. Um, and then sometimes because some opponents, it's just more like they're maybe too sure of how they control the situation, but there's like always that one thing that's, that it's not covering. Like in this game, there's always one thing that something's not covering except oh, yeah. for, except for those oppressive Okuzemi situations outside of that. There, there's always like, there's always multiple answers in this game. There's only a few things that require just one answer, right? And so if I if I latch onto it early, then I can like I can let that kind of run while my brain is used for figuring out what I'm gonna do when they start making these other adjustments, you know? Um, mm. and then sometimes some plans require some plans just need an autopilot because I've already because I know what I'm gonna do. It doesn't change the decision making. You know, 
or it doesn't change like like the execution's there so you don't have to worry so much about it some things require hard execution so now that requires focus and that's going to be a bit different but also if i do that that's also going to play a bit slower right uh the key to speed is having those things that can just fire off without thinking about them you know um but then this game is so good about uh letting you play in either way you can play super fast um like super fast buffering like forcing guesses one after another and so it's like okay if 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 i'm winning on the guesses then i'm gonna keep forcing more and more guesses right and then um but then some this game also lets you play in this really reactive i'm watching the opponent way of playing and it allows you to do that in two ways. There's the active way to do it, where you're doing fuzzy guards, you're doing um, movement option selects, you know? But then once you see certain things that they do, you, you, you pounce on it. There's that way. There's also the other way where it's like you kind of hang on patiently and you maintain safe distance or at the spot where you have advantage, whether it's close range, medium range, or long range, and you just kind of play it patiently. There's that method too. Um, but both methods are, both methods can lose to guessing, can lose to like really fast paced guessing. And so they have to be careful of that because it's not the same. There's, there's two different speeds that go on. There's the, there's the force guessing, which is you got to play frame tight, right? Harpenier is very good at forcing that. Um, so Harpenier will force the speed guessing, but he is very, just like me, he can also switch to the, to the reactive play too. And the reactive play is actually slower than the force guessing because it's less frame tight. It's more like you're hanging on to neutral, but just long enough to see what's going on and then make a quick decision after you see either a pause or you see them act. You know, that's the reactive play. So managing all these different gears, that's that's really how I can, you know, I can fight like strong, you know, fellow players that are strongest in the country as well. Uh, and so, and on a good day, the chat will wonder why I'm chatting with like this the Twitch chat while I'm fighting them, and it's not like I'm fighting them less hard. It's not that. It's just it's just finding the right gears that are working for the fight, and then yeah. like they have to figure out how to beat me in that gear, <laughs> you know. And so uh. and so during that time, I can chat while doing that because it's it's not hard. Like it's not that it's not hard. It's that it's just. The, the plan's working so until the plan fails then but you'll see me shut up on stream as soon as like they start doing things that slow me down or things that require like me to play in a much more um a more thought heavy way right and sometimes yeah. it's not that they're playing dumber actually what sometimes what's going on is they're trying to figure out how to beat the thing i'm doing that's all and so it's not like they're playing worse they're they're sacrificing the win because they're like, I want to beat this stupid thing Chanchai's doing, <laughs> right? And so, and so they're trying to, and so they're slowing down as they're trying to figure that out. And it takes so much mental effort, right? And and the way you play a lot is a lot of times that way too. Is like you like figuring people out, and um, you make. I do think you make really good reads. It's very scary, and you find things that do work. Um, I think as the more and more you're fighting, I think the more you're gonna add more of these layers to your game and then you're going to be kind of like oh, okay this is what they're trying to do and uh i don't have to work so hard for it so i'll do this other stuff but once they once they start figuring it out then i'll be ready <laughs> you know and uh, yeah. but i but i think like the thing is is you're dealing with leon my leon changes pace a lot it goes fast and goes slow it goes low 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 and then now it's doing mid 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 <laughs> you know <laughs> And then and yeah. and Leon is designed to play this way because Leon like his normal hit launchers are they're they're medium speed they're not fast speed right um, other characters have like a seventeen frame like launcher and he's like at eighteen nineteen and twenty frames um, so because of that he he relies more on counter hits and the way I get people to counter hit is to attack slow so there's ways ways to get them to attack slow. The main way, well, the the traditional way to get someone to attack slow is to throw a lot, just because at some point they'll realize they can abari, or they should. But that's not what I do against you. It's really scary to do that. But but I try to find a way to use the backdash game against you, because um, against a lot of people, because the main way to defeat backdash game is to use a slow attack. 
Um, but that, that's what helps me set up stuff like uppercuts and, um, and things that are fast. Um, but also evade punish too, because if they're going to do a slow attack, it's definitely evade punishable. And then, um, but, uh, but there's a way to counter that. So the way to counter it is to just, you know, crouch dash forward <laughs> and defend. <laughs> like, like backdash can't do much. Like, backdash, backdash requires the opponent to kind of attack. <laughs> so, so if the opponent, like, just crouch dashes forward and moves, they, they can, but they have to be very quick and confident that they're going to win the neutral or the situation after that, you know. And if they do that, it's very scary. And I think Wolf can do that, right? So Wolf can do it the, the traditional way of like trying to find the right moment to do 3k plus G and drop kick him. But, and your Wolf has really good plays like that and long range plays. Um, it does. Uh, I do think like your running game, if it mixes up a bit more, it's going to be, in my opinion, it's going to be kind of scary. Um, but at the same time, it... it it, it can't be like that's all you do, right? If you if it's all you right, do, it'll yeah. lose. But if you but if you mix it here and there, and you mix up the option, or at least just tell yourself, okay, once this round, I'm gonna do a running hit attack. Might be the first time, might be the second time, but once this round, I will do a running hit attack. Then you are sufficiently mixing up the, then the running throw becomes a much bigger threat. Mm -hmm. um and and there's a lot of stuff like that in this game and i don't think there's much at the moment there's not much consequence to it uh the running attack put it this way okay if i evade punish it that that's going to be the thing that wrecks it but if you can get me to if you can do it against me and i'm not doing that then you're fine and on balance you're a plus and then you can mix up and that'll be a big advantage for you uh, for that particular game. But you're doing a lot of good stuff. Um, the things that cause tilt, and it happens a lot with Leon. So again, in Leon, I'm a Leon's a poke character, and he relies on counter hit. So he is trying to get a lot of counter hits against you, and there's going to be a lot of counter hitting against him too. The problem with counter hitting is counter hits um, are going to lead to that situation where the input buffer where the stun is bigger than the input buffer. And so when counter hitting is happening like a lot to you or with, for you and against you, it is going to mess with the buffer. There's going to be times where you have to like, where you have to wait like just a split second longer to hit before the button or at least hold the direction and then hit the attack button just slightly later, you know, stuff like that. Um, because that that's where things will feel like they drop like a lot and it will feel this way offline too if you fight me off i can tell you everybody i fought offline there is a moment where they complain that stuff's not coming out and it's because they're it's that stressful situation i that leon puts them in and it's the that a lot of count there's normal hits and there's counter hits and there's recovery hits and they all have different stuns and the counter hit happens to have a big stun that it could be like you end up hitting early and you get mad and you're wondering why, like why it didn't come out. Yeah. So, um, so if that helps you at ease to understand you're in good company, that a lot of other players that have fought me offline, um, have run into this and that, and I've run into it too. I run into it when I fight against Sarah because Sarah plays super moral. So I'm the one that's getting counter hit by her moral play, you know, cause if you play as a Sarah, like you're like screwed if you if you abari too much as sarah because she just yeah. everyone has huge combos against her so <laughs> so like so because of that every more every sarah player that i've played that have played sarah for like two plus years will just play moral as hell <laughs> you know and because they right, play yeah. and you play pretty moral too but but uh but and harpenier did an amazing job encouraging you to commit right to commit in your game and that is good because it's so scary when you fight people that are that can make those commits and just really kill you know on a read um yeah but sarah players are playing safe as hell <laughs> and and so for me i was wondering why i was having trouble inputting i, I it was driving me nuts and then i realized because she's counter hitting me and because he's counter hitting me, like I'm rushing the inputs and it didn't come out, right? And that's because there was more than twelve frames of recovery, so <laughs> from the stun, so or more more than twelve frames, and so it's like, oh, I input too early, and I'm the type of person who will input really early, like super early, 
um, something that did help later on, I started going like, I started to sense when it would drop and then I just input again, <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah. but, uh, but that can lead to some really ugly inputs. There are times when I meant to do elbow and then I did elbow again and six, six P came out and that was like, what the F, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, yeah. like that's the worst. And that happened, especially in my matches against uh, R Pandas Taka in Portland, that that's happened to me a lot, and it, it pisses me off because like his Taka suddenly is now like hitting me with like four P plus K, so it gets like a big combo, and I'm like, ah, jeez. <laughs> you know? But yeah, all right, man. I'll catch you a bit later. Thanks a lot for the matches, and absolutely don't worry. Uh, we'll do voice chat sometimes, but also we do without. Uh, I'm happy playing either way. So. Yeah. I don't know. Like against you, I really wish I could talk and play, but I I just can't. Yeah, no problem. No problem. It's, it's, it's just too hard. No, no problem. We'll do it uh, soundly, but, but I understand what you mean too. And again, um, with at least at the moment, I'm not I'm not like yeah with you and Harp, you know, because I'm like hella close with Harp. So yeah, no, totally. But it, well, it's also. Uh, my, my game is trying to make you think a lot so it's trying to because i changed the game up a bit uh i think yeah. you're seeing that like how i play at the first set is not the same as as the last set so you know i don't know it goes both ways yeah all right man you have a good one right. i'll catch you later you too see ya all right enjoy the expo uh, will do That was a real fun battle with Guibert. We had a fun chat with other people in the VF discords. It's a, it's a wonderful community. Um, you know, I do wish that our main chat could be a little more positive in the Virtify discord, but it's one of those things. It's a hobbyist chat. However, um, I forged a lot of really good bonds in the discord and in the Virtified or five strategy chat. It's always wonderful vibes in there. And as you guys can tell in the, um, when we do play online and we do voice chat, uh, people like to join in and chat and those chats are wonderful. Those chats are a lot of fun. So I think the best chats in the virtual fire discord are either in the, during, during the screen share sessions when we're, when we're sparring and we're sharing the screen and people feel free to jump in and chat. And then also when we do the strategy section and also the media section too. There's a media section where where we post uh, videos and we share Japanese videos and stuff like that. And so sometimes people comment and then, and it's great. Uh, also the matchmaking chats for both PC and for PS4 and even Xbox have been pretty amazing chats. So again, um, I encourage people to join the VF discords, uh, you know, uh, don't judge it just by its main chat, even though sometimes there's great chats in there too. Uh, but definitely uh, appreciate the stuff like the Virtua Fighter 5 section chats, or if you're into VF3 or VF4, those section chats, uh, the matchmaking, and also feel free to jump in. If you like to do voice chat, feel free to join uh, the groups whenever they're sharing their screens and chatting as a community. It's a lot of fun. All right, everyone, take care. Catch you later. <laughs>